Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how we can write a formula to pick a random name from a list of names, or to pick any item, any random item from a list for that matter. So we have a list of names down column A. I have 12 different names, and in cell C3, I just want a formula that's going to go into that list and pull out a random name. So the main part of this formula is going to be through a function called index. A really, really useful function. I cannot emphasize how really useful this function can be when you're looking at dynamic, powerful spreadsheets. It's one of Excel's lookup functions, commonly found with match in its most common scenario to perform dynamic lookups. For us, it's going to return a value from a range of cells, if we tell it what cell to get the value from. So if I put my opening bracket there, looking at the top section of what it's asking us, the first line, first thing it asks as far as the array. Now that is the list of names, A2 to A13, and I'll put my comma in where it now asks for the row number. Now that's the random element, you know, to pick a cell out of them 12 cells at random. So I'm going to use a function called rand between. So can you give me a random number between, you know, two sets of numbers? Open bracket after it, so it asks you for the range. In my scenario, the bottom will be 1. Try that again, and the top will be 12. So when they say row number, they mean cell number, really. A2 to A13 is 1 to 12. The first cell to the 12th cell. Close bracket, that brings us back to index, where the last question is what column to return it from. We only have one column, so it's a redundant question for us. Close bracket and enter. And that will pull out a name at random. Got Bob Liston down there in 13. Now the rand between function is volatile. It's going to run whenever we do an action on our spreadsheet. So depending why you're doing this formula, why you're doing this calculation, you may want to look at turning formulas off on this spreadsheet. Now on your formulas tab, you have your calculation options. You may want to switch to off of automatic, otherwise it will continually run. And you might want to look at stuff like macros to then you know, trigger this formula, trigger that, that formula however you wish. And we have different courses that show you how to do that kind of stuff. I'll have some links in the description of this video uh, to our VBA macro writing course. And also to our sports league tables course where this kind of stuff can be commonly found for cup draws. Now, if I did switch that to manual, to then trigger that formula without the need for a macro, I would just press that Calculate Now button, or F9 as a keyboard shortcut. So every time I press my F9 key on the keyboard, it will rerun the formula and give me a random name. Indeed, if I click that Calculate Now, you can see it running through there. So I hope you found that video tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergaga.com.